Hi Grade Ones, welcome back to this maths lesson brought to you by Worksheet Cloud. You know by now that my name is Teacher Di and I just love having you here with me so we get to learn some new things in maths. If you have any questions while I'm talking, ask mum or dad to send an email to the address on your screen now, grade1 at worksheetcloud.com and I'll do my best to answer those questions in the next lesson. Okay, let's get started. Today is a grade one maths lesson and we are doing some vocab. Now vocab is short for vocabulary and all it means is some new words. Did you know that maths isn't just about numbers? Maths actually has its own set of words as well and we need to understand these words so that we can do our maths problems correctly. Okay, we are going to learn three new words today. You may have heard them before or maybe you haven't. Okay, let's get started. The first two are odd and even. Have you heard those words before? Odd or even. I don't know about you, but I always seem to land up with odd socks. I put them in the washing machine, I take them out, and for some unknown reason, I land up with an odd sock. I don't know where it goes. I don't know how it keeps getting lost. And so I have all these odd socks in my drawer. And today we're going to talk about the maths words odd and even, and we're going to talk a little bit about those odd socks. Okay, so if I've got one sock, is that useful to me? Can I use that for my shoes? No, it's an odd sock. What will happen to my other foot? It'll be cold or get sore in my tackies. So we say in maths, if you've got the number one, it is an odd number. That means it doesn't have a partner. You can't um, share it equally. You've just got one sock. Well, not in whole numbers. We've just got one sock. But now say I go and check really carefully in the washing machine and I find that other sock. I now have two socks. Is it an odd sock anymore? <laughs> no, they two. I've got my pair. So in maths, we say two. The number two is even. Okay, so we've got the number one is an odd number. The number two is an even number. So say I take out of my washing machine three socks. Is three an odd or an even number? If you have a look, I've got a pair, there's a group of two, but then I've just got one, another odd sock. Okay, so number three in maths is an odd number. So if I were to say to you right now, can you give me an even number? You could say two. Two is an even number. Or I could say to you, can you think of an odd number? Right, you could say one or three. I say I were to go and find that other sock. Maybe the dog had dragged it away and I find it under the couch. And now I've got four socks. There's a pair and another pair. Two and two. Do you think four is an odd or an even number? It's even. Four is an even number. How about five? Here we go, we've got some pairs of socks and we've got one more. Now would you say five is an odd or an even number? Odd, very good. It's an odd sock. Five is an odd number. I find the other socks and now I've got six. Two, four, six. And so six is an even number. You can see it's a pair. It's got a partner. Right, so now we're going to, if we ever think of odd and even numbers, we're going to picture our socks. So now you have to picture them in your head because maybe you won't have that many socks in your classroom when someone's asking you this question. And we're going to look at the number line over here. And here we've got our odd numbers in blue. One would be an odd number. Three odd five odd because it would be two two and one more and and that's an odd sock so five is odd seven would be odd and nine would be odd but if we've got two socks that's an even number four socks even six even 
8, even, 10, even. So there we go. It's a bit of a trick that you can remember. If you are counting in twos, you are counting in even numbers. Did you know that? Let's count in twos. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. There we go. You just said a whole bunch of even numbers. The numbers that we are jumping over are odd numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. That's an odd number. And do you know, here's a big trick for you. If you can't understand, then don't worry. This is just something I like to tell my um, class. See if you can be a smarty pants. Any number that ends in a 2, 4, 6 or 8 is an even number. Any number in the world. And any number that ends in a 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 is an odd number. So I like to say to my grade ones in front of their parents, and then their parents are always amazed. Grade ones, is the number 252 an odd or an even number? 252, and so it's an even number. And I'll say to them, grade ones, is the number 3451 an odd or an even number? It's an odd number it ended in one it's a funny trick okay okay so we need to remember this number line one to ten which are odd and even numbers and then we can actually work out any number if it's odd or even you don't have to do that right now i just wanted to tell you about that sneaky trick okay back to the page one three five seven nine are odd numbers because if you were to group them up in two there'd always be one left out an odd sock the numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, or any number counting in 2 is an even number because you'd always have a partner sock. Okay, great. Now, we're going to guess quickly. You tell me if it's an odd or an even number. Is the number 1 odd or even? 1 is odd, right. The number 3, good, odd. 2, even. Good job. Five. Odd. Four. Even. Six. Mm -hmm. Even. Eight. Even. Ten. Even. Seven. Odd. And the number nine is an odd number. Well done. Okay, our next word, our last word for the day is the, the word between. Teachers love to ask you those, these questions on the mat in the morning, don't they? What number is between? And then you think to yourself, I don't quite know what she means by between. So let's talk about it quickly. Here we've got some pictures. We've got a flower, a car, a leaf, a banana and a tree. Now if I said to you, can you tell me what object is between the car and the banana. Yes, the leaf. The leaf is between the car and the banana. Very good. Let's do another one. You tell me what object is between the flower and the leaf. Right, it's the car. Very good. Do you understand what between means? It means in the middle. Okay, let's do one more. What object is between, so think in the middle, of the leaf and the tree? Right, the banana. Very good. Okay, let's try and work that out with some numbers. Can you tell me what number is between 2 and 4? Excellent, 3. What number is between 4 and 6? 5. You've caught on so quickly. Between is just like saying in the middle. Let's try two more. What number is between 1 and 3? 2. Well done. Last one. What number is between 3 and 5? Four. You really are a bunch of smarty pants. Well done. We've learned three new words today just like that. Odd, even and between. 
I hope you enjoyed that lesson as much as I did. I find math so exciting. The numbers and the words. If you go online now, you can download the activity that I've prepared for you. You're going to circle some even numbers, then circle some odd numbers, and then give me some answers about what numbers are between. So you can download that activity now and enjoy it this afternoon. I hope you have a lovely day, grade ones, and I will see you again soon.